Yo, I just put out an update for my asset, the footstep sound component. This update comes with some really dope stuff. We got updated effects, sounds, water splashes, waiting, ripples, new demo levels, and footprints. If you don't know what this is, it's an asset that I have which allows you to get footsteps working in under a minute, as well as object interactions like boxes, bumping into things, playing a sound, and spawning particles. Video covering all that is linked below. We can start by taking a look at the updated particles. All I've done was duplicate and modify some of the existing footprints so that they look better. The original ones are still present in case you want to use them. There are also new water splash particles, which I'll cover more in a bit. One thing to note, uh, I'm not going to be making more particles under the old cascade system since Niagara is the new thing. If I have time, I'll make some, but yeah. Next are the sounds. When I first started out, I was making cues for each type of footstep sound with their own recordings, but it became very tedious. And so unless there's like a clear distinction between sounds for one movement or the other, then I'll add different audio recordings. But moving forward, it's just going to be the same sounds with tweaked volume levels and pitches. Okay, the next thing is the water system, which has several parts to it. By default, the component has the splash tick turned off because I have it running a line trace on event tick. Don't worry, I added a delay, so it's not as power intensive, but yeah, it can still add up. So I turned it off by default, so it's not just wrecking your computer if you use this. The character blueprint that comes with the asset, along with several other actors in the demo area do have it turned on showing exactly what it does. In the water level, the debugging settings are also turned on and I'm also going to turn on this trace here as well. And you can see that by default, there's a line trace ran from the bottom to the top of the character. It's red and turns blue once the player intersects the water. And there's also this box that appears which represents the cheap wet system that I have which spawns a dark decal faking the appearance of wetness. So several things, as we move, clearly there are water splashes that spawn with each step. I have override footstep also turned on so that the footsteps that spawn on the surface underwater are also converted to water. If this is false, you'll have the ground surface audio play, which may be what you want. Some things to take note of for the splash tracing, the trace starts at an object's root, and sometimes that's the center of meshes, like these wheels, and other times it's the bottom, like the character. So you have these offsets here for you to mess with so you can get the trace to go from top to bottom. Another thing are the splashes, which have a threshold and will spawn heavy or light splashes, obviously if the object hits the water at respective impacts. Another feature are these ripples that will spawn around objects once they stop moving. I've tried to do my best to add as many offsets for locations, scales, volumes, so you're not having to open up blueprints or even having to edit the particles or sounds themselves. Going back to these wheels, you can see that that the weighting scales are adjusted for each one, simulating different splash sizes. The last thing I want to cover is the footprint system. So this is on by default and is set up to play the respective footprint, matching the bone spelling of the material and mesh. Capitalization doesn't matter. You can also add the name of your bones or sockets that will spawn prints and then add offsets. So a good example is with the character by default. If I go ahead and delete these offsets that I've added, you can see that the footprint print spawn like right at the center and it just looks bad. To fix it, you can easily adjust the location for each one and I assume most of your character's feet are the same in size but yeah you can adjust the scale here as well. There are also fade settings allowing you to delay when the fading starts, how long it's going to take to fade, as well as the distance. The distance thing is a little weird, I don't remember the values offhand but like the closer you get this to zero, not actually zero but like freaking close, you essentially affect the color so you have to be closer or further to see the footprints. And if it is zero, it'll be visible from everywhere. One is invisible. And like the default that I have it at, I feel like it's a good spot. I'm not sure if this is actually helping with performance or not. I would think it would, but it could just be like a micro specific opacity setting. So technically they're still being rendered just at way different levels. But hey, what do I know? I barely learned how to do this before it went live. Anyway, the last thing for footprints is the fact that you can change their color depending on the surface. And you could do that within the particle struct and you can see in the footprint 
print level where I changed the default print to show white. One final note, going back to the cheap wet system. It's called cheap wet because it's spawning this dark decal simulating wetness, right? But the thing is, it's hacky because it'll spawn on anything that receives decals. So in any other level, you see the wetness on the ground. In the water level, I went and turned off receiving decals for all these assets and even the material is slightly different to where it doesn't receive decals so that only the player is getting the wet effect. But yeah, that's all I got for you. I hope you all found this helpful. If you got questions, please feel free to reach out. I'll see you in the next one. Late.